Hi guys, I will show you in this short video how we can use Blender as a data visualization tool. I just want here to leave the veil on this little known practice, but this is not a tutorial. Okay, let's start with the data. This is a flat CSV file that contains a table of values. We've got a better view here, and we can see that they are hourly records for some captures in Paris. Those captures are located here on the map, and those captures are measuring the concentration in nitrogen dioxide in the air. Some uh, additional data about weather and traffic. For an overview, we've got the maximum speed of the gust of wind, the atmospheric pressure, the temperature for weather, and for traffic, the distance between the capture and the nearest road. For example, for this capture, obviously the nearest road is this one. And we've got um, the level of traffic jam, and the car flow. Right, now we want to put it on a graph. Let's do some setting. Okay, this is the graph. And we want to show the factors that leverage the concentration in nitrogen dioxide. Some previous analytics have given insight about the most explicative features that are represented here with the maximum speed of the gust of wind on the x-axis, the traffic intensity on the y-axis, and the distance between the, captures, the capture and the nearest road on the z-axis. The fourth dimension is the running time, and finally the target is the concentration in nitrogen dioxide represented by the radius of this cylinder. This cylinder is divided in 12 sections corresponding to the 12 displayed captures and we can select a section like this and increase traffic, adjust the distance, or increase the scaling, the concentration in nitrogen dioxide. Okay, let's go back. You can see that I'm modifying the cylinder through this structure named a lattice, and the aim of the wall stuff will be to connect data to this lattice to modify the cloud of pollutant as a function of time. Okay, this is a cloud because we want some more dramatic effect and so we add a particle system on this structure uh, going through all the parameters of the particle system is beyond the scope of this video. However, let's see how it works. First, particles are nitrogen dioxide with one nitrogen and two oxygen atoms. You see, there are three particles. Okay. Those particles are emitted by the cylinder. Okay. And those particles are sticking together. They are flocking because of some physics setting. What will happen with other setting? With uh, no physics, uh, obviously nothing happen. Newtonian is not so bad. Friedrich. Uh, yeah, it's interesting, but we stick to boys. Right. 
Okay, and now it's time to deal with the core of everything, the scripting. So we shift to scripting environment, and here we go, this is the script. For those who are familiar with Python, you can see that we load a BPI package, which contains API for Blender. We also import a lib library named AirMap which contains the definition of a class with some proper some properties such as the targets the concentration in nitrogen dioxide you remember and above the feeders about the methods about function let's go to the points with a read function some logarithmic scaling here and a select function to get slice of data for each hour okay now let's go back through the script here we load data then we loop through the data to extract slice of data for each hour. First, make some transformation accordingly to the wheel. Just be aware that weather data are the same for every capture. So the wind affect the wall captures. Then we loop through each capture and we select the section of the lattice corresponding to a given capture then we make some transformation translation and scaling what's going on next this is a basic process to add some contrast by modifying strengths of light emitted by particles as a function of the average concentration in the cloud. Let me show you. Okay, this is the particle in running mode. All right, node editor. Uh -huh. Okay. And this is the strength of emission for, you see, oxygen. I decrease the strength, okay, there is less light. I increase more light, okay, that's easy. <laughs> Let's go back to one and go back to the script. Uh, text editor and go back here. To the scene object mode select the latest and why not run the script okay nothing happens yet because it takes a while okay here we go well, it's a little bit messy and what do we have Great. And let's run it. Okay, and we've got our animation. You can see each section of the cloud corresponding to each capture and the traffic that is changing. Here you can see the effect of the wind which affect the wall captures right and if we want a rendering
Alright, this is the final rendering of the animation. Maybe you will agree with me that it sounds terrific, but not fully explicative. We need some more or less information. So we add some numerical information and a qualitative indicator showing the lost years of life because of the atmospheric pollution. Thanks for watching and see you later.